Hi, Best Buds. It's Kathy with Kathy's Garden. I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today is hashtag Tag Me Tuesday. But first, let's have our shout out to Carrie, Julie, Barbara, Rosalind, No Script Here, Dawn, Sherry, Gwyneth, and Lala Gamma. I appreciate each and every one of you. Today, we're going to make an easy mini doily journal. Oh my goodness, it looks so springy. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to grab some of your doilies and the nest, you want to make it like a nested one, like graduating sizes. So I have made a couple of different sizes. I've made one that's this big and I think I've made two that's this big. So and I suppose you, if you have, I do have bigger ones, but I just thought this was probably large enough because I kind of wanted to make something small enough that you could put inside of journal. So there's a combination there, or maybe you want to make a combination of something like this. Those are really pretty, aren't they? Then there's another combination, maybe something like this, maybe just a coffee dyed one, two white ones, and a blue one. That's pretty too. I kind of thought that we would make one with this combination. This is a dyed blue doily. And then I've got just a white doily. Then I have a kind of a tan colored doily and a blue dyed doily and then another blue doily. Oh my goodness, I think that's absolutely gorgeous. So which what we want to do is we gonna we are going to fold this in half. So I'm just folding all my doilies in half. So get them all folded. And why I fold these, I'm going to tell you what on earth is hashtag Tag Me Tuesday. I have a Facebook group. The link is down below. I invite you all to join. And over in the Facebook group, I welcome all of you to show me your version of a Tag Me Tuesday video that we have done together. There are lots of them now because we've been doing this for a while. So you can choose any of the Tag Me Tuesday videos in which we've made something together. And you can, per you can post in the group your version of that because even though we're doing the same craft, it always turns out different because our personalities come through. And it's really a lot of fun to see everybody's variation of the very same project. So to join the group, you will need to answer a question. There are two questions, but the last question is the most important. And that question is, do you accept the rules? And the rules are extremely simple. It is to be kind to everyone and that there is no selling on that site. It's not that you can't sell. It's that you can't sell on that site. Okay? And that's all you need to do. And then <clears throat> I will accept you into the group and you can see everybody's creation and you can post yours. And I invite you all. All right. So now we've got them all folded in half. And what I want to do is I want to take my smallest one and I want to open it up. Now maybe you don't have one that's this small. Maybe you have one that's this small. Maybe you only have two doilies that you're going to make. That's okay because it's going to be just, just beautiful. No matter how many doilies you have, it's going to turn out absolutely gorgeous. So I am going to just place my glue right here in the center of my doily. And then I'm going to place some glue going around the outside rim of this doily here. All right. Now I'm going to take all my doilies and I'm just going to place this right inside, right where I want this to go. I want this to go about right there. So I'm just going to press it down just like that. So it's going to go ahead and it's going to grab on to possibly, definitely the, the one we're gluing it on, but it might also grab a hold of the next one. It depends on how many holes you have in the, your doilies because the glue does seep through. Okay, so there we are. We've got that. Now I want to bring in some other papers. I have, let me get them here. I have some papers here. I have some blue dyed 
uh, book page, lined book page. I have some copy dyed tracing paper. I have some copy paper that I've dyed blue. I have some grid paper. I didn't dye this one at all. And I have some beautifully dyed music paper. All right, so what I want to do is I want to start with this beautiful blue copy paper. And I'm going to fold it the long way, like this. And then I'm going to take my largest doily. So these doilies, they're graduating in size, like this. So I'm going to take my largest doily, take it out, and I'm going to take, open it up so it's where the fold is, right here, the fold. I'm going to place this fold inside, touching the other fold of the doily. And then I'm going to take my scissors, right over here, and I'm going to trim around by just leaving just a little bit, maybe a half an inch. And I'm just going to trim around in the shape of my doily. Most doilies have some type of scalloped edge. And I'm just going to trim around just like that. Okay? So then I am going to do the exact same thing for all of these pieces of paper. So I'm going to place my doily in here. I want it to be, this is fine. I was just looking at it, just making sure I was going to like what I was doing there. And I'm just going to, once again, I just want to have a little bit of space around the doily. Okay, so there's two. There's three. And I am going to continue. I'm going to do this page, I'm going to do this page, and I'm going to do this page. And then I'm going to show you how we're going to combine them together. Let me see if I can get this. Where is my... Here we go. All right. So I have my doilies right here. Let's put them back together. So I really think I want to have... I'm thinking I want this blue one right here because you know you're going to see through the holes of the larger journal but let's check out this creamy one i don't know maybe i like this creamy one oh that creamy one's oh i kind of like that i like the way that looks right there all right so let's just choose the creamy one and then maybe let's use the lined book page and then how about if we do the tracing paper, and then maybe the book paper, I mean the music paper, and then our copy paper. And what on earth do we think about this? Oh my goodness, I think that looks lovely. So now what we want to do, I'm going to just even this up, So we're going to need to put, let's see here, I think I like how that, okay, that's going to be okay. All right, so I've got some paper clips here, and I'm just going to paper clip my pages together here. Actually, no, that's not what I want to do. <laughs> I want to paper clip them together this way. I need to open it because we're going to have to sew these together. Okay, let's get this there. Let's put this right here. All right, so some of you know how I sew a signature in. You know I'm not going to measure so I like to cut a strip of scrap piece of paper and I don't make it any less than an inch across, okay? And the length has to do with the length of your signature that you're sewing in to your book. So I'm just gonna place it in like this and I'm just going to mark it. I wanna trim it off right here because that's as long as my doily. And my doily is gonna be my little junk journal book. Okay, so I'm trimming it off. Now I'm going to take my piece and I'm going to fold it the long way like this. Okay, and then I'm going to fold it again the long way. So let's get this creased right 
and then I'm going to fold it one more time. So there are going to be three folds when I open this up. And what we want to do is we want to put a mark where the folds intersect. So right like this. And those are our holes that are evenly spaced. So I'm going to place my little piece right here inside. And because it is, it's not really big and bulky, I'm able to hold it. If I'm doing a big book, I always pin this or you know, paper clip it or clip it or something. I'm going to get my pokey tool and I'm going to put a hole in my middle. Oh, whatever hole you want to start with, it does not matter. Put my, my pokey tool and put a hole in all of them, all three intersections where my lines met and remove my little guide. So now I have three holes in my signature. Now we're going to sew this up a little differently. We're not going to do it the traditional way. I've already got my needle threaded. And I have my waxed thread here. And I am going to measure by saying one, the length of my signature, two, three. Alrighty, I'm going to trim this off. Now I'm going to take my needle and normally I go in this way. This time we're going to go in from the outside in. I'm going to pull it, but not all the way. We're going to leave a little bit of thread here or string or whatever you're using. Go in the next one, whichever one you choose, it doesn't matter. Make sure nothing's caught. We're going to go all the way down to the other side, the very bottom, the one that's furthest away from the one you just came out of. Pull it, check it, make sure everything's good. Then we're going to go back in the center and you're going to look. I want my needle to be on the opposite side of this string here and I want this needle to be on the opposite side of our thread right here. So I'm going to pull it through. So as you can see, I have thread on either side of the center thread. I'm going to check it on the inside to make sure nothing caught on anything. I'm going to pull it, as soon as I trim it, trim it off of the needle. Stick my needle over here so don't lose it. I'm going to pull it, but I'm not going to pull it so tight I rip it, right? So get it tied just like this. And see, normally this right here, you can't see it, but the string normally is inside here. But I'm going to use it as part of my decoration. So what I want to do is I actually um, found beads that go on this thread and I thread it on here just so I had it so it would be quick and easy. And I am going to put these beads onto this thread and I'm going to push them up tight. So let me bring one in. I'm going to push them up really tight and I'm going to cut them off. So they're going to be part of the decoration of this little journal. You see here. So I'm going to do that because it's going to take me a few minutes to, to place my beads onto my string. I'm going to do two of them. One on this side. Oh, you can't even see the string. One on this side and one on this side. And then we'll be back and I'll show you how I'm going to finish it off. All right, so I have already tied one off, but I just thought that I would be able to show you, I'm hoping I can, how I tie this one off. So I'm just going to tie a knot right underneath and very close to this, what I call a seed bead. And then I'm going to do it one more time. Now, before I complete my journal, I am going to get my white school glue and I'm going to put a little dot of glue on the knots of both of them so they don't come undone. And I have chosen the seed beads and just a little pearl because I don't want it to be too awful heavy because this is just a doily. Even though we've reinforced it with lots of different papers, 
it is, let's face it, just a doily. So you don't, I don't think that you would want to put something super heavy on it, okay? So now let's go ahead and let's see, oh, how can we decorate this? Well, I have some little Easter things that, oh, that's really cute on there, isn't it? And we've got this one. But we also have, or I also have, some wax seals that I really think would be really nice. I'm really liking that one a lot. Um, this one's the same, and I think this one is too. I like the blue better than the pink. I have some of those little petals that I showed you how I made. I think the video's up already. Yes, I'm pretty sure it is. Oh my goodness, I really like that. Now, I think I'm going to grab a little bit of a ribbon. Sorry guys, I'm out of frame and I'm talking along here, but I need to grab some ribbon. Two different colors. I've got this tealy color blue and I've got this blue. Um, I think I want this blue. So what I want to do is I'm just going to make a couple of loops here. So two on either side. I'm just going to make a loop there. I'm going to leave a little streamer here. I'm going to move my finger back. I'm just going to place a little bit of hot glue here. And the reason why I'm not making a knot is because it's going to make it a little too bulky for my lace to my lace well my lace and my wax seal to lay flat so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my ribbon 1 8 inch satin ribbon right down here like this and I'm going to go ahead and I've got two of my little net petals and I'm going to place them right here on top just like that and then I'm going to put a little bit more glue on here. I'm going to give it just a second because you know the hot glue will melt the wax. And this one is a pretty thin uh, wax seal. It's not thick at all. I'm just going to place it right in the middle. And I'm going to hold it for just a second just to make sure that it is stuck down. I think these turn out lovely. Now when you take your paper clip off, do be careful that you don't catch your doily on the edge of that paper clip. Look how adorable this is. I absolutely love them. So you can even open this up with the doily and you've got all these papers that you could decorate if you like or you could stamp on them. You could leave them plain. You could put this inside of a journal you could put this inside of an Easter basket. Now, wouldn't that be cute? And then I think I showed you this one. Now, see how I didn't use as many doilies? So this one is smaller than this larger one. Isn't that cute? Oh, that's something I forgot. Okay, do you see how I put the flat back pearls around on the round part of the doily? That's what I wanted to do here. So let's, goodness gracious, I always forget what I'm doing here sometimes on these videos. I wanted to put that on there so I'm just digging out these flat back pearls. I hope I have enough here. And I'm going to use my Tombow glue to do this and I actually need a little clip to hold this down so I can get these on here. And I put right here where these cir the circle is of this white doily, I thought that adding these flat back pearls right here in a blue would really tie it all together just like it ties it together with this pink one. Here's where I have trouble turning these over. So let's get this one on here. There we go. Let's get, you can already tell it really just perks it up, doesn't it? I could have used cream or white, but I really thought that the blue ones really set it off look at that yes that's just what it needed isn't that beautiful now i have one this is a yellow doily isn't that one pretty with the beautiful butterfly on here and once again you can just open it up you've got the pages in there you can journal on them i just thought that this blue was beautiful underneath the yellow and i have another one it's a large one too so i have two in the smaller size and I have two in the larger size. 
and I, instead of the little blue doily here, it's a pink one, and then I put a lavender little wax seal on there, and the I chose to use the pink little pearls because of the pink doily here, and it's just exactly like, oh, and look, there's an image on there. Now, I did make some paper bundles, speaking this reminded me, I made some paper bundles of the doily images on the coffee dyed paper. They're over in my Etsy shop. The link's down below if anyone's wanting to pick up some of those paper bundles. They're a little bit of ephemera added to the bundles as well. But I absolutely love this project and I hope that you have enjoyed it. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video, guys. I'll see you there. Bye now.